I'd like to move on to uh, item number six, the city manager update. Good evening, council members, ladies and gentlemen. Some, uh, some good news to talk to you about as far as things that are happening in the city. And so I'll start out with uh, that first bullet, and that is uh, we got great news in the home industry across the city, and that is 35 new home permits have been issued as of April 30th compared to 19 permits at this same time last year. And so the housing market um, is moving forward nicely. That's a great news story for the city. Second item, uh, really kudos to Chief Moore and the police department. One of the things I learned when I first got here uh, two years ago um, was that our police department sends over all of its case files and documents, hard copy, uh, to the district attorney's office. And so we've been working with the district attorney's office for the past two years uh, to get the district attorney's office to accept electronic scanned copies of uh, those file reports, et cetera. And so they've now reached an agreement to run a test bed between JPD and the district attorney's office um, to, uh, uh, to send those, um, those police reports over electronically. So that's a good news story because we're saving some money. We're not killing a bunch of trees. You'd be amazed at how large these case files can be. So that's a good news story. The kudos to Chief Moore and the JPD. Kudos to the district attorney's office um, for moving forward um, on a paperless office, office initiative. Uh, next, a lot of questions I get on the fire station, what our demolition uh, cycle is looking like. Um, for everyone, you know, first of all, we're, we're doing asbestos abatement in the old central fire station currently, um, and that's about two weeks, so we should be wrapping that up here by the end of the week. Um, but the actual building de demolition, so when we take a sledgehammer to that building and start tearing it apart, that won't happen any sooner than June 13th. So you'll start seeing that building come down sometime after June 13th, wanted everybody to understand that. Um, and then great news story uh, in our partnership and our cooperative efforts um, with the town of Rock, and that is uh, the DOA just recently approved our amendment to the city of Janesville and town of Rock cooperative boundary plan. And so what that does is set up a, a system so that over the coming decades, uh, certain properties will come into the city of Janesville over time. Um, but that was a great uh, effort that we, uh, we worked last fall and into the early part of this year we finally gotten that approved. And so a good news story for uh, the town of Rock, for the city of Janesville, and certainly the community. Um, and then the last thing I want to point out is, is uh, again, kudos to our Lions Club here in town. They've agreed to re-roof the main roof down at Lions Beach House, uh, or Lions Beach Bath House. Um, that building's in great need of repair. That was one of the things that needs to be done. Um, and so that's another community group stepping up uh, to take some burden off of the city, uh, and we appreciate it greatly. Next thing I wanted to point out uh, for, the, for the citizens uh, in the community, and that is we recently uh, implemented a new um, update to our GIS mapping. Um, and so that's essentially the satellite imaging system uh, that the city uses to do all of its mapping across uh, you know, our city footprint. Um, if you want to get to that site, you can go to our website slash maps, or if you just go to our website, there's actually a tab right on our front page that says maps. You click on that, it takes you to our website. Uh, and if you want to know anything about what's going on in the city from a mapping perspective, whether that's election boundaries, whether that's uh, school district boundaries, um, you can get to that and, and run whatever picture or uh, see whatever image you want to see. You want to see the sewer lines, you want to see the water lines, um, you can do it on the GIS website. So I encourage you to check that site out. If you have any questions, the GIS staff in Planning Services is more than happy to answer your questions and help you walk through um, the system. But this is a significant upgrade um, for the city and we're very excited to have it on board. Again, that was launched in March. Uh, city leadership just got a class on it here at the beginning of May um, and really excited to be able to use that. So I uh, encourage you to check that out. Some upcoming events. Um, tomorrow night, not sure whether the community knows about this or not, um, but the Rock River Coalition is sponsoring a Testing the Waters community program tomorrow night out at Traxler Park Warming House. It starts at 6 o'clock, and it's essentially an effort um, by, uh, by folks to bring attention to the water quality in the Rock River. They started a paddling slash canoe kayak trip up in Horicon. Uh, they're going all the way to Beloit. Um, tomorrow night, they'll dock here at Traxler Park uh, and then uh, um, head on to Beloit uh, the next day. Um, but that's May 24th. We're excited about uh, that. Um, and so we encourage you to come out and, uh, and learn a little bit about the water quality uh, in the Rock River. Um, May 26th, uh, one of the things that we've got going on from a community perspective, and this is huge. This is a, 
it's a national issue, it's a state issue, certainly going on here in the city, um, and that is we have a program called the Community Approach to Opioid Abuse. It's being held at the Pontiac Convention Center from 8 to 11.30, um, and uh, we've invited a whole bunch of folks from across the community. Um, if you wanna come participate in that, I encourage you to, uh, to show up um, and attend because it's, it's about getting community feedback and discussion about that problem that's very real here in Janesville. On May 26th, pending the council's approval tonight um, of uh, the TIF uh, 36 and TIF 33 amendments, um, the joint review board meeting uh, will uh, meet uh, right here in uh, City Hall, room 416 next door from 3 to 4 p.m. May 26th, uh, that's Thursday night, uh, our Janesville Innovation Center is hosting its open house. Um, it's celebrating three years um, of, uh, of operation. We're really excited about all the good things that are happening there, and that's from five to seven. Um, come on out, light refreshments, an opportunity to see some of the great uh, new businesses that are growing and starting right there at the Innovation Center. Uh, May 30th is Memorial Day, so next Monday, a week from today. City facilities are closed. There is a parade in the downtown. That parade starts at 11 a.m. It'll run from High Street uh, eastward on Milwaukee Street across the bridge and then take a left and go up North Main uh, all the way to Traxler Park. They'll finish at Traxler Park and then at noon um, in Traxler Park down at uh, Veterans Plaza um, will be the ceremony uh, for Memorial Day. And so we're excited about that. Um, and then June 2nd, uh, new fire station number one grand opening ceremony. Uh, that's a week from Thursday. Uh, that's at the F Central Fire Station. Goes from one to two o'clock. Encourage folks to come out. If you haven't been by there recently, you'll notice uh, that they're uh, finishing up the landscaping. Place is already occupied. We're running operations out of there, um, but it's looking great um, and really a, a first class project. Um, two things that aren't on our upcoming uh, events list here uh, that I wanted to point out in regards to Memorial Day. Um, one of them is uh, happening this Wednesday night. Um, and for anybody who's uh, aware of Vets Roll uh, program, uh, the Vets Roll program, uh, they're hosting their victory parade and reception. That's Wednesday night this week. It's down in Beloit at the Eclipse Center. Um, it's gonna be 9.30 to 11 p.m. And so I encourage folks to come out and cheer on our World War II, our Korean War vets, and all the Rosie the Riveters um, that have participated in that event over the last couple days. But that's going on Wednesday night. Uh, and then lastly, uh, just an update on um, the Janesville 99. Uh, the Janesville 99 is hosting, hosting or holding right down here at the Corn Exchange uh, their uh, annual celebration and remembrance uh, um, ceremony. That's a Sunday night, May 29th, here at the Corn Exchange at 7 o'clock. Um, and the guest speaker uh, will be uh, Major General Donald Dunbar from the Wisconsin National Guard. So I encourage folks to come out and participate in the Janesville 99 ceremony. That's uh, Sunday night at seven. Uh, continuing on, uh, June 4th, take a kid fishing derby at Traxler Park from nine to 12.30. Uh, June 4th is the all city outdoor rec night at Dawson Softball Complex from seven to 9.30 p.m. Uh, June 11th, good news, Rockport Pool opens for the community. Uh, and then June 12th, Diversity Action Team of Rock County Community Picnic at Riverside Park, South Pavilion, that's from one to three. And the reason that I wanted to make sure the community knew about that, we are running across the community um, a billboard contest in our schools, uh, and that billboard contest is focused on um, uh, what we would, what students think a more diverse uh, and accepting community would look like. We're calling it One Janesville, and they'll announce the winner uh, at, that, uh, at that picnic. And so we encourage folks to come out and see um, which uh, billboard has been uh, chosen by the diversity action team slash school district slash city of Janesville reps. Uh, I encourage folks to stay connected to the city, lots of ways to get connected. Um, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can receive emergency updates via Nixle from the PD. You can always come see us or give us a call at 755-3000 or 3177. Pending any questions, that's all I have. Uh, uh, Council Member Markline. I did. Just to be clear uh, to anyone listening from the Rock Township, uh, as you said, they, they have passed that at the state level, mm -hmm. but the residents will not be getting a letter to that effect. Is that what I understand? That's correct. And But it was printed in the Gazette. It was here. So hopefully they'll know. That's all I had. Thank you.